Hello, everyone. It's great to uh, bring you the third of our Lakers Together series, where I'll be interviewing our Vice President for Finance and Administration, Dr. Greg Saniel. Greg, um, please tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and how you came to Grand Valley. Thanks, President Mantella. I, I've been at Grand Valley for about two years now, and that was after a long career in the military. I was in the Coast Guard uh, for a number of years, did a, did a number of things, uh, primarily a financial background, but I have an extensive experience in, in operations and crisis management, complex uh, responses to things like hurricanes and other natural disasters. So uh, if anyone wants to blame the current situation on me, I'm, I'm more than welcome to take that burden uh, <laughs> because it, it's something that's really right up my alley with some of the background and experience that I have. When it was time for me to uh, get out of the military, all I wanted to do was get into higher ed and higher ed finance. And, and the reason for that is the mission of higher ed. You know, I, I really identified with when I was in the military, the mission of the Coast Guard. And, and that's just who I am. The, uh, yeah, the mission of higher ed, just making kids, preparing them to be successful for the rest of their lives. So let, let's talk a little bit about... Um, the complexity of this particular challenge, which is, you know, how do we maintain a safe and work environment and how, how, how much goes into that? You know, what is your thinking? What is your approach? What are the dimensions of that work? There's a number of things that we're looking at and preparing for to make it the, the safest environment we can for our students, faculty, and staff. Our, our buildings are relatively new, relatively modern, have advanced uh, heating, ventilation, air control systems. So we're able to recirculate more frequently. We can uh, flush buildings overnight uh, with the air to, to reduce any kind of potential pathogens in our classrooms. You know, the standard 48 desk classroom to create that six feet of separation recommended by the CDC. Uh, we're going to be removing a lot of desks. Uh, you know, we'll probably be down to 17, 19 desks in there to create that physical spacing. A lot of furniture uh, we're going we're gonna to package away. And you're going to see that across the campus, not just in classrooms and common meeting areas, uh, library, places like that. Other areas, the, you know, staff areas, you'll see a lot of plexiglass partitions, especially outward facing or public facing. Uh, in addition, you'll see things like uh, directional arrows in, in uh, hallways and buildings to you know, keep people as, as separated as we can and keep the flow going. Grand Valley has always been a very clean environment. We have an excellent custodial staff. We normally do most of our work in the evenings, uh, but we're gonna shift that uh, come the fall and we're gonna, do a lot, we're gonna have basically multiple shifts uh, during the day, during the, the high time, the high traffic area, so we can keep up with the cleaning as we need to. We're gonna be sanitizing classrooms daily. That's something, you know, we've always done cleaning, but we're actually gonna be sanitizing classrooms each day. You're gonna see lots of, you know, hand sanitizer is gonna be everywhere on this campus. We are testing a, you know, hospital grade um, viricide and germicide product that um, is, works for up to a year. It's advertised by the manufacturer that, you know, you apply it to a flat surface and it is basically sanitized for a year. We've been testing that uh, for the past several weeks in a number of areas. We've test, we're testing it in classrooms, door handles, areas like that. And we're fine that the claims are measuring up, you know, so even if we don't get a year out of this sanitizing product, you, even if we get a month, then we just apply it each month. You can see where, you know, uh, an area like a classroom, we apply this product, it is gonna make, it's really gonna be a game changer for us in the cleaning and sanitizing effort. You know, uh, colleges are, um, they are communities, they are work environments, they are, they are hotels, they are restaurants. Um, how are you thinking about um, some of the spaces where students will travel and live? Um, are, do you think about them the same way as the work environment? Uh, ab absolutely. The extensive cleaning, uh, cleaning more frequently, um, providing the, you know, the meals, the, the grab and go option, you know, minimizing the contact. We're looking at potentially cashless transactions as an example. Mm -hmm. uh, one, to both speed up the process and two, just, you know, the, so we're not using coins and paper money to, again, provide the, the cleanest and safest environment we can. 
Well, you know, I um, have come to know through all of this, your team a, a little more closely and they're a very service minded. They're focused on doing sort of the best for Grand Valley. Just want to compliment you on building that kind of culture and maintaining that culture in this very challenging time. Oh, I appreciate it. I, I've got a wonderful team. They couldn't be more dedicated to this university and, and dedicated to the students. That's why we're here. Again, you know, when I talk about why I wanted to get into higher ed, it was about the mission. It's about, you know, making Grand Valley, making students at Grand Valley successful and doing everything we can to support them. And my entire team feels the same way. So we're, whatever we need to do, we'll figure it out and we'll get it done so uh, we can have the most successful fall we can, even given the challenges that we're facing with COVID-19. Thank you, Greg. Thanks for all you do for, for Grand Valley. Oh, thank you.